Hello again, and welcome to A Quick Guide to Shapes and Sounds, Part 2. You will find Part 2 underneath Part 1, and here you can also see the lessons that are within Part 2. We start not with introducing another letter, but by looking at the apostrophe, when to use it, and a strategy for remembering when. There are then two additional videos, one to look in a little more detail at the omission apostrophe, and one looking into the possessive apostrophe. Beyond that, the lessons are very much the same. We introduce individual letters and we talk about how we know when to use them. When we have introduced the letter H, we then introduce T and H together as the letters that are needed for the sounds th and r. First consonant digraph in shapes and sounds. Then three more individual letters. And a lot of the lesson is exactly the same as the lessons you're used to. We will have building speed, a really good way of building an automatic response. And you can see that the number of letters included is reduced. There's also building speed for capitals where the number of letters remains exactly the same. And there is a be the teacher routine so that you can continue to cover all of the letter and sound links. There will also be a reminder of the apostrophe and the letters that were covered previously so that you can use this screen or go back to the lesson where it is covered. So you have choices on your next steps and whether or not to go back and have another wee look at something. You'll find once the letters are introduced, lots of the activities are the same. Sound sorting, linking to the getting started resource and stretching words. Strategy words where we have a workout and mnemonics, our first sound spelling where we will be looking at words that have been covered in part two. There will be a reminder for those in part one at the end of each video. And you can see here we have the word this. And this word explains why we are calling it first sound spelling. Because the first sound in this is and we need the letters T and H. We don't separate them. There will also be matching activities if there are consonant blends, writing words, reading words and writing sentences. And underneath writing words too, that will have words using long and short vowel sounds as well as words with more than one syllable, there will be building speed too. There will also be writing sentences too and at the end of that video, reading the sentences back. Suggested resources will still be there where 
You can request, if you are at a Glasgow City School, to have additional resources from Getting Started. Choice of handwriting and a choice of using cursive writing or not for the word lists or these that contain words with more than one syllable. And this carries on all the way through. But lesson 14 introduces the doubling rule. And with that, we introduce suffix ing. So this, even though you can see here we have one syllable words with a short vowel sound, is something that extends getting started. And we have writing sentences. You can see here lessons 11 and 19. The activities are pretty similar. But if we look here, you can see that we have introducing double O and using it. These are new activities. And there is a choice when you are on section one you can decide whether or not to include that activity or maybe go back to it later. That gives you an example of the sorts of sentences that will be included in section one. Section two will include all of the choices that are covered in section one. So section two users will have a lot of different things to think about and they can go at their own pace through the activities in each lesson. Lesson 15, we have another choice. We have introduced H and here I-G-H as a spelling choice for the sound I. Because we've introduced choices, we will have choices checkups where you can go over the choices and think about the letters that you write as well as why. When do I use double S instead of S? And in this part of the video, can you write the letter before it appears on the screen? Choices check up two will include very gradually, because this is lesson 19, sound choices that use the same letter. Spelling choices and suffix choices. And this particular suffix also has a sound choice. So lots of different things to think about. And please be reassured this is for you to choose the activities that suit you best for where you are in your learning. Enjoy.